I like watching films because they help me with my imagination. I think it helps me writing because then I can I can remember lots of stuff in my head so then I can remember to write. Well, we often use films as an alternative to printed text because of the way they can help children to gain an understanding of narrative. Using film is particularly effective at Key Stage 1 because it enables children to very easily be drawn into that story and narrative world and a film like Dangle quite quickly uh, draws them in and, and captures them. They're trying to encourage a lot more story writing so we decided this would be the perfect thing to use for them to understand the skills and the importance of planning a story. I think that Dangle is a particularly good film for them to use because there's a clear beginning, middle and end to the story, which is what we try and get the children to remember when they're writing stories. Dangle is a six-minute live-action film about a man out walking who suddenly finds a rope hanging down from the sky. After some deliberation, he decides to pull it. In you go, Katrina. Everyone follow. There we go. What's that? That wasn't here this morning, was it? No. What's that doing there? It's on that film. What film? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the first part of the lesson, the rope was hanging down in the classroom as the children came in. And I did this because I really wanted them to imagine how the character might be feeling um, to get some wow words going in their head. You gentle, my goodness, you never know what might happen if you pull it. <gasps> now, in the first section, it says feelings before pulling the rope. And what I'd like you to do is think about how you felt when you came into the classroom five minutes ago. How did you feel when you came in and you saw the rope hanging in the middle? of the classroom. And you can begin as soon as you're sitting down. Name and date, please. And One of the aims of the lesson is to encourage the children to use more adventurous vocabulary. Firstly, I felt very happy and excited when I found out that the rope had appeared in my class. I think the children were totally engaged with what they that what the idea was, was of the lesson. They were very excited to write and very focused, so it really helped to have that activity at the beginning based on the film. Swirly. Swirly. Very good words. The nature of moving image text, and particularly short films, enable teachers to use the films several times, and this familiarity that, the, that it provides for children really increases their confidence with the story and elements of, of a film and that, that in turn impacts on their writing. Dangling, I love that word. Brilliant. It's all to do with the film, isn't it, Frank? When I went into the classroom, I was surprised when I saw a bright red rope dangling from above. It looked fantastic. In the middle part of the film, the man realises that he's found the switch that turns the sun on and off and he gets very excited. Now it's time to think about the middle of the story and what happens often in the middle of a story. What do we always say? Why it's the most exciting bit, Katrina? There's a problem. There's a problem, absolutely. We've got to make it really exciting now. Tanya gives the children alternative scenarios to prepare and act out in their different groups. What's in your envelope? Don't let the other groups see what's in there. OK, so pick it up, Katie. OK, what happens when you pull the rope? Okay. There were five possible scenarios in five different envelopes, one for each table, which were various things being everywhere, such as music, animals, sweets and computers. And then the other one was that the world started spinning. So. First of all, I think I'll have responsible group. Could you stand up, please? Quietly tuck your chairs in very quietly. Very quietly. And then what happens is these children are going to act what happened when they pulled the rope. And when I say freeze, they're going to freeze. And you have to shoot those hands up and say, I know what happened when they pulled the rope. Oh, Agatha's bending down. That's interesting. Oh, she's got something around her head. Oh, someone's doing something with their fingers on her knees. Mia's stirring. 
Ben's looking quite excited about what's in front of him. Okay. Freeze. Are you ready still? What do you think happened when they pulled the rope? I think they turned into a computer. Did you turn into a computer or were there computers everywhere? Yeah. They were, give them a <laughs> There's just endless possibilities of what could happen when, when you pull the rope. So that's great to get their imagination going because sometimes it's hard. I mean, some, people are, some children are particularly imaginative and others aren't. So it's good to get them thinking in different ways. When I pulled the rope, there was loads of colourful computers and all that I could hear was noisy types and sounds. I thought the sky was going to fall down. Then I pulled the rope. When I opened my eyes, I was surrounded with humongous and tiny sweets. What are special effects? What do you think special effects are, Thomas? I think it means sort of things to make the film more exciting. Brilliant! In the part of the lesson where the children were looking at particular elements of the film, I wanted them to understand how and why different shots are used. So when the camera was, showed a close-up of the man's face when he pulled the rope, it helped the children understand his, his emotions. Where is the camera? Where is the camera? See at? Above his head or maybe um, in, in front of him, but he's, but he's not actually looking at the camera, he's looking away from the camera. So is the camera very close or far away, everybody? Close. 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 Why? So they, you can see his face better. Fantastic. Can we see or can we imagine how he is feeling there? Have a look. How's he feeling? Shocked. Shocked, absolutely. It could be, or scared. And I wanted them to understand the concept of special effects. For example, the lights going off and on and off. What have you noticed about the lighting? The background goes off as well with the front ground. Oh, good, good trying to explain that. Very good. Can anyone notice? Please, can you see this going on? All those lights. What do you think's going on there? <gasps> Jeremy. It's the big city in the background and then it's, it's, um, he's turned it all dark and then so they're putting the lights on so they can, so sometimes you can actually see the city. Yeah, you can see what's going on in the city better, can't you? I also wanted them to understand how important sound is. Rufus, what does that sound tell us is happening? That they're screaming. In addition to using film as an alternative to printed text, we want to encourage the children to develop appreciation of film in its own right. Which one of those things helped you understand the story better? Which one of those things? Camera, lighting or sound? And as they do this, they build up a film vocabulary, which means that they're then able to question the director's decisions and why he's made the choices he's made and what it brings to the meaning of the story. Now, if you think that the sound helped you more to understand the story, could you put your hand up for me, please? Maya, what do you think? I think the sound helped me understand the story at the very end because I heard all the beeping and stuff. And what do you think was going on then? Um, it, there was loads of traffic because people couldn't see and they were wondering why it was um, dark in the middle of the day. When the light went off and on. So that was the lighting. So did you like the lighting to help you understand as well? Yeah. Just as much as the sound, do you think? Yes. Do you think that you would understand the story as well if the camera was only zoomed out and not zoomed in? 
No, because um, if it was zoomed out, you wouldn't see as much as really? you if it was zoomed in. What do you see better when it's zoomed in, then, do you think? The person. By the end of year two, we'd be hoping that the children would be confident consumers of moving image text, so we would hope that they would be able to view a moving image text and make quite high-level, sophisticated inferences and deductions using elements such as sound and camera to help them with their understanding. The film ends with the man breaking the rope and plunging the world into permanent darkness. In the last part of the lesson, we looked more closely at the man in the film when he walked away. We used this to think about what might happen when they pulled the rope, what the consequence would be and how they would feel after pulling the rope. What was the result? What was the consequence of him pulling the rope? Let me have a look. Who's going to use super wow words to tell me what happened? Rufus, what happened when he pulled the rope? It fell down and there was such a lot of noise and the rope broke. Katie, what else happened when he pulled the rope? Katie? Um, all the people started screaming. There were lots of people screaming and shouting and talking. Why do you think that was? Because they were scared. They were scared? Why? Why do you think they were scared? We don't know the answer, but you have a guess. What do you think? Because maybe they're scared of the dark. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our tables and we're going to write in the last column what happened after you had pulled the rope and after all this had happened, how you felt. And remember, I'm looking for wow words up here, OK? Although Dangle is quite a sophisticated film and might m more commonly be used at Key Stage 2, I think the, the concept of the film makes it immediately um, very appealing for children at Key Stage 1. The sort of inherent naughtiness that comes with you know, the, the idea of what might happen if I pull it and to immerse themselves in that situation, I think, enables them then to become fully able to write about the experiences and potential experiences and also gives them ample opportunities for speaking and listening. The rope had vanished and, asked, and a few seconds later I decided I should have pulled the rope. I think the writing that they produced was of a very high standard, I think. Um, they were definitely stimulated by the film. Some of the words that they used, you know, that they, they hadn't used before, so that was the perfect, you know, progression of their vocabulary. So, Jeremy, what did you write about how you felt after pulling the rope? I felt irresponsible. And what's that clever word there? Guilty. Guilty. Why did you feel irresponsible? Because I think I shouldn't have done it. Why? Did, well, did something bad happen in your story? Yeah. What happened? Well, um, computers fell out, so then it would waste electricity. Oh. And wasting electricity is a bad thing, isn't it? So you felt it was very irresponsible behaviour. It's a very grown-up word. I'm over the moon with that. Well done. I love it. Carry on. You can watch the full-length version of Dangle and an interview with the film's writer and director in the other programme in this series. It is also available to download from the Teachers TV website.